welcome to another video. My name is Andre and today I'm going to take you through a day in the life of being an English teacher here in Zhengzhou, China. Okay, so it's now 9.49 and I'm going to go to the gym and then go to the supermarket and yeah, you'll see what a Chinese gym is like and a supermarket is like. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym with my, my colleague. He's from the UK, so let's go. So my, my colleague lives on the same building as me. Um, so we usually go to the gym together. He just started going, but he's doing really well. And um, yeah, it's good to motivate each other on. Let's see what kind of day it is today. Ah, it's a cloudy day today. So, here's the old e-bike. It's not bad. This is a good investment, getting around the city or even just going to work, which is for me very close. Doing a day in the life. Oh, okay, cool. You don't mind being on camera, do you? Fine, how you doing? How you doing? Let's go to the gym. Hell yeah, let's do it. So you'll notice that driving around on the e-bike can seem quite dangerous at times. Um, there are one-way bike lanes, which you can see on the right, which are meant to be used. But using the road with the e-bike is okay when you need to turn. There, There's not really any rules with the e-bikes, at least as far as I know. People drive them however they want, including me. <laughs> so... But there was a recent law here in Zhengzhou that a helmet must be worn, but you can still see many people not wearing a helmet, um, including me and Adam, we don't wear one. now arrived at this very big shopping center and the gym is on the top floor as you can see the shopping center is very nice it's only a year or two years old and it's also very close to where I live so it's super convenient to come here uh, not only to go to the gym but also to do shopping for the gym, it's a necessity. <laughs> Wait, on Monday you did legs? Yeah. Uh, so I don't get to do legs this week, that's fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you escaped that one. Swimming pool. What is that guy watching? Just finished the workout and I'm heading out now. 
So, check out uh, hangover medication. <laughs> <laughs> Full English breakfast. <laughs> Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
Okay, so I'm on my way to work now, and the time is 2.15 p.m. Because I start work so late, I usually spend the morning studying or going to the gym. Uh, there really is generally not enough time in the morning to make a trip somewhere in Zhengzhou. So from Monday to Friday, classes start at 5.20 and end at 8.30. But I need to be in the office at 2.30 p.m. to start preparing classes. And on the weekend, classes begin at 9 a.m. and finish at 8.30 p.m. So the weekends are quite long days. As I mentioned in my previous video, I work at a training center for kids aged 3 to 11 years old. The kids come to training centers after school or on the weekend. And this is why my working hours are very unusual. <clears throat> so Monday and Tuesday are non-working days, but I have chosen to work every day because firstly, the extra classes pay well. And also there is a shortage of foreign teachers and it helps the school if I do these extra classes. Someone's order takeaway. There's usually no one at the front desk this time because classes don't start till 5.20. Uh, here's some photos. There's Adam. There's Marcus. That's me. All right, walking into the office. Will Marcus be sitting there? No, I'm right. guessing no. That's Fiona. Hi Fiona. Oh, she's listening to music. Alright, here's my desk. There's Adam's desk. And this is where we sit and prepare for classes. So as you can see, there is only three foreign teachers in my office, me, Adam and Marquez. The office is located in a smaller shopping center, but there is a total of five centers with about 10 classrooms in each center. So there are a lot of Chinese teachers and teaching assistants, as you can see. So from now, what I do is prepare classes until 4 p.m. when we have a break. But since I'm still a new teacher, I usually spend my breaks preparing for classes because there are many lessons that I haven't not taught yet and I need to prepare for them. Taking a walk outside of the office is um, like you can see there's a drum training center here. It's like, there's another one for robotics over there. There's one for uh, ballet in here, and there's one for like old. Chinese classical instruments in here. Uh, there's, there's many, 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 many. And the kids playground thingy, like at its peak, especially on the weekend, so many kids here. And they're all just going to their training school. Uh, I've noticed like since being in China that like the kids get treated like kings, you know, they 
it's all it's all about them. Oh, parents spend so much money on their kids here. <laughs> like I I don't have any kids. Um, yeah, I just you know I'm amazed. Like even in like in Australia we don't have this kind of culture where parents are gonna spend so much money on their kids, on their education, on and all that, but I think um, Chinese people see that as an investment. You have this society where when the, when the kids grow up and the parents are older, like parents, someone needs to take care of the parents. So that's why the, um, they put so much time, spend so much time and effort into their kids so that their kids will uh, like have a good education, earn a lot of money, so that they can take care of parents when they're old. And, you know, because in China, I think the social security, like the pension is really bad. So parents don't really have much else to rely on except their kids. So this is a projector. This is an interactive whiteboard, so the kids can like press it. You see that, get used in class. It's really, it's really good. And um, yeah, let's teach some English. Time. Home time. Yeah. About four classes done and now we're heading home. So I just taught four classes. Each class was 40 minutes long. Monday to Friday, I teach four classes. And on the weekend, I teach 10 on Saturday and 10 on Sunday. So in total, I teach 40 classes in a week. So now I'm heading back home and I will go play some badminton with my Chinese friends. And then that will be the end of my day. Alright, so I just got changed and I'm gonna go play some badminton with my Chinese friend. Um, yeah, it's best to play at night because it's not as hot. So, let's go. Alright, so just arrived at the badminton courts here at a university. And I'm gonna play some badminton with some Chinese friends that I just made. And, uh, yeah, and that's like, gonna be the end of my night. Um, it's already 9:20, so I'm getting pretty tired. But badminton is pretty fun, and the weather is pretty good for it now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I met Xu Baolin at the gym one day 
and after we started to play badminton. He is studying Chinese medicine, and these other students are his classmates. We play at his university. They have these badminton courts and basketball courts. And um, yeah, it's good fun. Um, so this is the end of the video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.